Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I think it's time to start with the winter tutorials with this easy to make snowflake bracelet. I will show you step by step and it's uh, like a beginner's level tutorial so I'm sure by the end of this video you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads. Here I use lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. You could use any type of clasp you like. This is fire line that is 0 0.17 millimeters, but you could use 0 0.15. Uh, it's up to you or you could use monofilament and here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and I'm going to pick up 12 beads. One silver and one blue bead and I will alternate them. In this way I will have 6 blue and 6 silver. 12 in total. Okay, and I have my 12 beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I will make my knot by going twice with my tail thread through this loop I've made and I'm going to pull pull tight and then I'm going to make one more knot like this okay guys now I have this okay and I'm going through these two beads and exit out of a blue bead and now I'm I want to take two white beads one silver and two white beads like this i'm going to skip this silver beads that on my way and i will go through this blue bead okay you see what i have on my needle i'm exiting out of a blue and i'm going in a blue bead okay then two whites one silver and two white beads okay skip the silver and go through the blue skipping one bead and going through the following okay two blue one silver two white okay skip the silver go through the blue and i'm going to repeat these guys three more times Okay, and I'm exiting out of this blue bead. And now what I want to do is go through these two white beads. Then through this golden, uh, through this silver, sorry. And I'm going to take three blue beads. Okay. And I'm going back in circle through this silver one here. Okay, like this. Then I'm going through the first white bead and I'm taking just one blue and going through the following white. Then I'm here in this silver bead and I take three blue beads, go back in circle through this silver making a cross of four then through the following white just like this 
one blue and go here in this white bead. In the silver, go through the silver and if you can in one movement also go through the white and pull a bloom. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and here I am where I added my last blue bead from this row. And what I'm going to do is exit through one of my blue beads here. And I'm going to take my clasp, take a silver bead, go through the clasp, slide it down, then take one more silver, okay, like that and go back through this blue one so a silver my clasp and a silver and i'm going back like this okay and now guys i'm going to reinforce this work here Okay, and after reinforcing, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I will make a knot, let's say here. I'm making a loop and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I made. And I'm going through my following seed bead. And now, guys, I will cut my thread here. And I will also cut my tail thread. And the beginning of my bracelet will be ready. Okay, now I will take another uh, half an hour span of thread and I will make my next element and I will be back to tell you how to connect it to this one. Okay guys, and I just finished my second element the same way I showed you the first one. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind the video and repeat the whole process, of course, without adding a clasp on it because it's the second element of my bracelet. and. What I want to do is attach it to my first element and in order to do this I should reach one of the, those angles here of my snowflake, okay? And now I want to connect those two elements together and in order to do this I'm taking one silver bead going through the black that's sticking out of my first element, okay? Then I will take one more silver and go back through this blue one and I'm going to reinforce those beads here. Okay, and now what I want to do is go here in this element and repeat the knot that I did before. So I'm making here a loop, going once, 
going second time through this loop I've made I'm pulling and I'm going in my next seed bead like this always go through the next seed bead uh, in order to cut your thread never cut next to a knot and now it's time to cut okay now guys I have my first two elements of my bracelet uh, make another element and connect it and I will make six elements in total and I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet, your snowflake bracelet. Okay guys, and when I continue adding more and more elements, this is what I have. I have six elements in total. You could add more if you want. And here I just attached my last element and I'm going to show you how to finish your bracelet by attaching your jump ring and in order to do this I will have to go through the whole element here and exit out of this blue bead at the other side Okay guys, and my goal is to exit out of this blue bead and I'm going to take now four silver beads and I'm going to take my jump ring and I will go back in circle here like this and now what I need to do is what I did before I will reinforce my work And here I'm going to make a knot like I did before. And I'm going in my following seed bead. And now I'm going to cut my thread. And guys, my bracelet will be ready. Okay guys, and now my snowflake beaded bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.